Hello everyone, Bill Apter down here at Apter's Alley and welcome and this coming Sunday, Wrestlemania Sunday, I am so psyched by the way for Wrestlemania weekend. Uh, I'm going to be at WrestleCon, going to be at the Busted Open party and places all over the New York City area you will find wonderful Willie. On Sunday, Wrestlemania Sunday, in the morning, from 10 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon, I am going to be at Mark Out at the Meadowlands. It's going to be an incredible autograph signing. Lots of wrestling celebrities going to be there. I will have copies of my book, Is Wrestling Fixed? I didn't know it was broken, for sale. And I am being brought there by Scott Wilder Promotions, a member of their family now. So... A few weeks ago, at a convention run in Allentown, PA, by the great Bud Carson. Bud's a wonderful person. Just a great promoter of conventions, just a great guy, and a hell of a wrestling historian and collector. But a few weeks ago, uh, he, at his convention, had um, Tatanka, L.A. Smooth, and the Tonga Kid, among others, there. And... Uh, I interviewed them, and all three of them, plus a huge array of legends and stars, will be there at Mark Out at the Meadowlands. So right now, let's take a look at the interview that I did just a few weeks ago with the Tonga Kid, L.A. Smooth, if you will, and Tatanka. You can get this at Mark Out at the Meadowlands. And by the way, I'll be at WrestleCon, too. If you're not at Mark Out, you can get this at, at there. And thank you, Scott Wilder. And let's go to the videotape. Come in close, Scott. Yeah, okay. So this is Bill after Allentown, PA. We are here. Guests of Bud Carson and my old friend, and you're not old. One of the, one <laughs> you're old. <laughs> I, I am, I am. And to comb over straight here? And oh. you, no gum chewing. Hold on. Oh. Gum, uh, gum chewing during the interview. No, you can chew. Sorry. No, it's all right. That's all right. Talking here, uh, guests of Bud Carson here. It's March Madness. The Tonga Kid. Yeah. Wow, it's great to see you again. It's good to see you, brother. It's been a long time. You know, oh. it's funny that every time I see you and some of the other Samoan guys, we got to do our Jimmy Snook imitation. You got yours ready? Yeah, I, okay. I, 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 I don't know. Wait, wait, I'll do it. Well, okay. tonight, Jimmy, of course, it's going to be you against Roddy Piper. Tell us what you're going to do. Brother, I'm going to go up the top of the cage, brother. 15 feet high, brother, and I'm gonna come down on Roddy Roddy Piper. Now, wait a minute, I gotta give you my, my voice. Wait, you, my voice a little deeper. You're probably doing you, better than me. You, you do it. Yeah, you're probably doing better you, than me. You be Vince. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we have here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, Superfly Jimmy Snooker. You know something, brother? It's beautiful in the TV Wonderland to be here. If you know when the mountain goes, you understand me? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to love his interviews because, you oh, know, he was great. such a great legend and I knew you grew up uh, around him. Oh, uh, yeah, Jimmy, every time we go places uh, all over the world, people always talk about not only his interviews, but what type of person Jimmy Snooker yeah. really is. Yeah. And, you know, me being so young, hanging around him, brother. Yeah. And also you, too. You've been around well, with us you. for a while. Yeah, and all over the world. All, all, all I just, you know, he, he's an awesome person. There, there's not one bad thing I can say about him. But I can say this. I want to thank him. You know, even though he's not here with us today, but in spiritual, uh, I know brother's looking, brother's looking down on me and say, kid, keep going. He always tell me that. Kid, keep going, kid. So wait a minute. Let, let's talk about the rest of the uh, Samoan family here. Let's talk about okay. your, your days uh, with... That, what's that actor's name? Du Dwayne Johnst oh, uh, Johnston <laughs> or something? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yes, okay. tell, us, tell, us, tell us some of your uh, personal, uh, since your family with him. Well, you know, growing up, uh, when I was wrestling growing up in, uh, and here in New York City, you know, I was living in uh, Harrisburg. No, no, I'm sorry, I take that He's back. Here, wait, in New Haven, Connecticut. New I'm Haven, trying to bring yes. my brain right. back. Tri-state area. Yeah, Where's okay. <laughs> Try I to saved him. It. It, exactly. So anyway, Dwayne Johnson was back then growing up. I was wrestling the business. 
he was growing up in school and growing up as a kid. I think he was like 12 years old or yeah, 10, yeah. and that's when in I met him in yeah. Allentown. Yeah. yeah, but even even here in Allentown, I met him through uh, uh, the Rocky Johnson family. I mean, the my Via family. Yes. Uh, and then you know at, that's how it all started. So I met him. Confusing relationship, all this. Yeah. yeah. So we got the Rock, we got the Rock, the Johnson, then we got Via my Via. Exactly. It is a good. But anyways, Leah Maivia. Yeah, Leah Maivia. She so promoted I'm, Hawaii as well. Right, promoted Hawaii. So Rock's that's how I met mother's <coughs> mother. Rock's grandmother. Well, right. Yeah, right. Confusing. <laughs> yeah. So confusing. Do, do, now, when I look back at your career, the thing that stands out to me most, and I know you wrestled all over the world, was the days with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Man, those days were awesome days. Tell us about it. Well, being with Piper, wrestling with Piper all over the world is, was an awesome feeling for me, you know. And me growing up, like you said, as a kid, I was trying to get to the Dwayne Johnson, but I'll get to that later. <laughs> but growing up here in New York City and wrestling Rowdy Rowdy Piper, I had, you know, a, a Madison Square Garden, a Boston Garden, Philadelphia Spectrum, just everywhere, you know. And not only the person that he is, I just, he's a legend. He's a legend what he does yes. I was a young kid growing up coming in from high school out of San Francisco California and he took me underneath his wing and just sort of guided me right through the business right through the to the wrestling world you can say yes, yes. you know but uh, now you yeah. said you had something to add about Dwayne I had to say that Dwayne when I met him like I said I think he was eight or twelve and I knew who he was back then but I just wanted the people to know at that age at 16 or 17 and between eight years old and I'm assuming he probably know because me and him used to do when the Michael Jackson uh, song used to come out me and him used to do the the, the strut I guess they call the strut the, and, then, yeah, and I was doing the moonwalk believe it I was doing the moonwalk back then when I was wrestling Piper wow. so wow. that's how me and him sort of had that connection and so this is the uh, uh, people always say when you do interviews and this and that you come and make up story I'm not making the story no, up no. I know I want you people to this know is a, this is uh, that's a good uh, this is nice I like that uh, uh, what the memories you had with Dwayne Johnson. Well, so, <laughs> so what about memories with uh, Alpha and Sika? Oh, oh, man. Those guys, you had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, we're you. right. We're a mile away from where office uh, yeah. Wild Samoan uh, Training School used yeah, to be. Yeah, I'm trying to get here. To the, I want to try to stop by there before I go because I have a flight to catch up. Well, you can't. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's right. It's not there that's anymore. Right. That's right. My cousin Samu's still here. That's so right. Yes. I can stop by and see yes. him. Yes. So anyway, yes. Alpha and Sika, uh, like, you know, that was uh, for me a life changing. My career has changed because uh, growing up in San Francisco, I got one of them. I was one of them crazy, wild kids, not obeying parents, no respect for nothing we in the world. All about that. So it's almost like my, my mom just threw me into Alpha and Seek and say, "Hey, we need to do something with this Take kid." Care of this kid. Yeah, I went down there when I seen Alpha and Seek for the first time. I used to see him on TV, but when I seen him for the first time, I kid you not, there, Scott. When I was wrestling, <laughs> when I seen him for the first time, it actually scared the living crap out of me. Oh, I'm sure. So I'm they straightened sure. me out, man. My uncles don't play around, man. They lay you know, some more they call tough love, you know, and they laid the hammer down on me, man. So I'm very, very blessed and that my uncles did what they had to do to me or else I wouldn't be the man that I am today. Now, you, you mentioned uh, I want the fans out there to know when he said Scott that he knows I'm Bill. Scott's behind the camera and he's the president <laughs> of Scott Wilder Promotions uh, and he books you and uh, L.A. Smooth and so many, and me as wow. well. Yeah, okay. yes. Yeah, so and he's is, holding the camera. He is. He's holding the camera. So uh, <laughs> Stu's a <not> shout out. <laughs> so speaking about L.A. Smooth, yeah. come on in here, L.A. Smooth. Here. Matter of fact, brother, have a smooth day. Have a smooth have Sunday. Have a smooth L.A. Sun smooth. L.A. Smooth coming into the after chat, over. right? You did. I just put him oh, over. You did. So. Well, welcome to the after right. chat, Thank L.A. You. Smooth. Thank you. Oh, by the way, where can people find you on social media? So when you go on social media, you look for I am Tonga Kid. Okay, on my Facebook, you look for TongaKid.com, or you look for Sam Tonga Kid. Part two. I mean, it's a big thing. Just look for Tonga yeah, Kid. And that's Facebook, <laughs> Instagram. He got it all. You know, he's about, all over the what place. About you, uh, I'm all over the place too. You know, Facebook, Instagram, you know, Twitter. You can look under LA Smooth Alofa, Lloyd on Hawaii. Same thing. Yes, you know, yes. I'm the same person. <laughs> well, what a lot of people don't know is that Lloyd and Hawaii, uh, who I always say, Anoi, uh, I, I always pronounce it. Yeah, it's on Hawaii. But one of his great matches that he's never talked about was 
on 7th Street in Allentown uh, yeah. against what? young seven-year-old Brandon Aptor. <laughs> hey, you know what? I put him over. You know why? Because he's part of the Aptors. The Aptor. <laughs> the Aptor. Aptor. <laughs> so what, what my, I brought my son to off his uh, Wild Samoan training camp, and he got in the ring against uh, against Lloyd here yes. in L.A. Smooth. And I remember my wife was there, and she's going, protect his neck. Protect. Yeah, yep. <laughs> my son smoothly beat L.A. Smooth. That's right. That's so now, right. now that he's in his early 30s, a rematch is in order? Oh, yeah, of course, man. I would love to see him. A rematch is on. A rematch is on. Brandon, you know what? You were younger then. You know, I put you over, but now you're a little bit older. It's going to be a little more tougher. <laughs> right, that's it. So tell us what you're doing, where where you are. Scott Wilder Promotions yes, yeah, you. We're, yep, we're right here with Scott Wilder, man. Great guy. You know, man, he, he keeps us busy, man. I mean, you know, I, I, don't, he, I work for him only. That's it, you know? Great guy, you know what I mean? And uh, right now we're in Allentown last night. We were in Rahway, uh, New Jersey at the WrestlePro, and then we were at uh, the big event in the morning and uh, just staying busy, you know? I'm overseas a lot. Oh, you're you're in Qatar also for yeah, my friend yeah, Ali. Yeah, yeah, I go in Qatar and then in, uh, India, and I've been, uh, you know, in Germany. So I've, I've, I've been blessed, you know what I mean? I've been all over the place. So you, if people ask you about one or two highlights of your still young career, what do you look at first? Oh, I mean, there's a couple places. I mean, when I first started with WWF, you know, I started on TV and then I, I was on the road with them without a contract. I was just feeling blessed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then I signed with them back in 97 and I was with ECW, but, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time in Puerto Rico with Carlos Colon and his I company. I remember that. Yes. Yeah, that was and and that, was a, yeah, that was a big highlight because I spent a lot of time over there and I had great times over there. So how many years you been, have you been wrestling now? 32 years. 32 yes, years. 32 like, years. And you I started still, at 15. And you, yeah, and you, you still you still got, because I've seen you, you still got all that great energy. Is there one opponent in the business, if somebody came over to you and said, I'll give you any opponent you could wrestle against, who's the guy? Got to be a guy. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> you know what? Well, some uh, of the Indians you can yeah, wrestle the yeah. There's a lot of guys that I worked against, so, you know, wrestled against. But I'm going to tell you right now, the, the one I would love to wrestle against is Tatanka. He, yeah. he is one. He's one of the best, man. Yes, and he's here yes. at the convention, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, signing autographs. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell him, and say, hey, we're going to have a rematch or what? But no, he's an awesome guy, man. And uh, it's a pleasure, you know, working with him. And uh, he is just a workhorse. You know what? You know what? I, we haven't done this one. Come on over. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's go. Let's go see Tatanka here. Excuse me, um, Tatanka? Yes, uh, yes. We, we were just, uh, uh, would you come on this side, please? Uh, L.A. Smooth I and I. I know the guy with the camera, wait, wait. too. Who's that guy on the, the camera? Scott right Wilder promotion. Scott Wilder promotion. But wait promotions. a minute. This is. Tatanka's this is, more promo. All right, so I just asked I'm him. I'm trying to control this interview. I know, hey, you, hey, I know hey. you are, but this man over here. We got the tribe here. in here. You see, there we got the Samoan dynasty well, wait, wait. and native Tatanka. And you an got, official got, member of a tribe. Not like that politician. Who's that politician? You see, I'm also with the tribe. I'm with the tribe, too. I'm a Jewish kid, so oh, I'm, I'm with that other tribe. Yeah. And I'm part of the Samoan family. I'm you Opta. It, you got Opta. it. Opta. <laughs> you Opta. got it. So got wait a minute. This just came up. I was interviewing him, and I said, if there's anyone in the world you'd like to pick to wrestle or wrestle again, who would that be, and what did you say? Tatanka. All right. So that's it. So he's been an opponent of yours before. So hypothetically, tonight in Allentown, PA, I love to do these things. Tonight, the rematch that everyone has been waiting for, it's going to be L.A. Smooth against Tatanka. L.A. Smooth, what's going to happen tonight? I don't know. There's going to be a lot of tables around here. but uh, <laughs> Wait, wait. Tonga Kid in a run-in here. This is un unprecedented on the well, actor chat He was chat coming here. in on my behalf. You know, we're, Samoan Dynasty. Okay. I, I, Tonga's a big boy. You know, we, we, you know, we, we, we run in groups. We run in packs. I understand <laughs> that. So what are you going to do in your match tonight to ensure beating this man? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. He's a tough character. I mean, I mean Tatanka's one of the best. He's a tough I don't know. It'll be a tough one. All you right. Ask him. Tatanka. <laughs> tonight. Yes. Allentown. Yes. Ha, the Native America to Tatanka. He's going to be war dancing, tomahawk chopping, and L.A. Smooth ain't going to be so smooth afterwards because he's going down one, two, three.
Tatanka wow. versus L.A. Smooth tonight, Allentown. You got to be there. Yeah. And that's, Old school, baby. That's Represent. Right. If you will. <laughs> <laughs> now that all the excitement has not died down, see, that's the way Tatanka, when somebody asks off the top of your head to cut a promo for a match, you're an expert. You just can't. That's what's so different about our era. Guys had it inside of them. You remember Jake the Snake Roberts, Macho Man, some of the Ooh, greatest yeah. guys doing interviews. And they didn't sit there and look at a script that was inside of them. We would have a few bullet points, we'd sit there and think, get in front of the camera just like that and go, click. And we would be the character who we are, your own. Portray the character. So, total different era. I mean, WWE He's done awesome today, of course, what they've done, but the error's totally different. Totally different. Tell everybody what you're doing these days. Uh, well, I'm on a WWE Legends contract. I'm still traveling all over the world. I'm pretty much booked. Next month, I'm booked every week. I'm traveling everywhere, so I love to get out there to see the WWE Universe, always to see our good friends on the road, too, and well, also support you. them, too. Again, here's another guy representing all these years. Doing awesome, man. Strong name in the still wrestling industry. Still doing it, baby. Still if doing it. It, baby you so got it let's talk about people always say you know what who was and it's an old school question when you talk about tough opponents that one guy that you had in the ring that really was took you to the limits who was it well I'd have to say man me and Bam Bam had historic oh. feuds man Bam Bam Bigelow was a he was truly a beast from the east I mean when a guy can get on the top rope and do a moonsault at 400 pounds he was just tremendous I had great he was the beast from the east if he was from LA he would have been the best from the West. There you go. That's best it. from the West. And also, again, we had him earlier, L.A. Smooth. Yes. But that whole Samoan dynasty, wrestling Yokozuna, wrestling Fatu, you know, the head shrinkers. I mean, these guys, Samu, these guys were just tough competitors in the ring because they're really tough guys. Yeah. So yeah. some of the best matches, again, Bam Bam Bigelow, again, all the Samoan dynasty guys and, uh, you know, uh, who else? Who else? I, mean, I had some great storylines. Of course, Lex Luger, Million yes. Dollar Man, Ted yeah. Yes. Of course, Rick the Model Martel still in the Eagle Scott Feathers. Hall. Uh, no, I mean, me and Razor connected yeah, some, yeah, but we never had a great right. battle. IRS, you know, ripping up the headdress. So some great storylines, oh, some great memories, that. man. Okay, last question now, all right? I like to do this also with a lot of wrestlers. Who's your best wrestling imitation? Oh, uh, well, I don't do that much, but you dig it. Dig it, dig it. <laughs> well, you know something, brother. Bill After with Tatanka. We'll see you at the matches. Peace.